hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title today i'm going to be doing another video on the empowered palette i'm going to be making another look and just sharing it with you guys so let's go ahead and get straight into it i'm sure you guys know what the palette looks like and if you haven't that means you didn't watch my last video so i have it linked down below for you but this is what it looks like and we're going to be creating another look before we get started please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am intrigued by this black shade right here and i want to do something with it i tried to do something with it in the last video and it did not work out so i'm going to go in with that shade first on an angled brush and i'm going to move you guys in okay there we go so what i'm going to do is create a V. I feel like that's like a droopy V, like it needs to be more. Ugh. I'm just gonna play with that a little bit and make it a little thicker, but not too much thicker. Me and my hooded eyelids. Give this video a thumbs up if you have hooded eyelids, because I feel like it's way more complicated when you're doing looks like this on hooded eyelids. So if you have hooded eyelids, Give yourself a thumbs up because it ain't easy. So now I'm gonna take this little blending brush and kind of blend that out a little bit. And this actually blended out really easily, but I feel like it kind of blended away, but it still gives me like enough depth, depth for what I'm going for. So I'm really just trying to figure out what this shade is supposed to be for. Maybe I could just watch a tutorial on it, but I'll be trying to do my own thing, you know? I don't wanna show you guys the same looks that you can find on here. I'm trying to do something different. So I try not to watch videos when I know I'm gonna create a look from a certain palette. Same concept, but inner, inner eye instead of the outer eye. Now I'm gonna blend that out. Okay, so now, I trust the process, trust, just trust me. But next I'm gonna go on with the shade Confident here, right, right there. And I'm using the same brush because I don't think it matters. Hopefully I'm right, but I'm just gonna take that brush, and I mean that color, and put it over that black. And blend, blend, blend. So again, just going over the black with that shade Confident and blending. I look like I got beat up real bad, but it's gonna come together, it will. Worst case scenario, it don't come together and I just look like I got beat up, so what? So what? So now that I got this black eye type thing going, I'm gonna get a new clean brush and go in with the shade Get It which I love this shade. I even used this shade as a blush the last time I did a look with this palette and it was literally so pretty. But I'm gonna go over everything with that shade and just blend that fallout just now though. Like, I know y'all saw that. But I'm just blending, blending, and blending some more. Blend, blend, blend. I usually don't go for dark eye looks. It just, I don't know. I don't really like the way it looks on me. But today, I just had this idea in mind and it is spooky season. So, we gotta come with some type of, you know? I feel like that black is just literally blending away. I'm just applying some more of that shade Confident because I feel like the black is just blending away. And this is my second time trying that shade out. So, I'm just gonna chunk it up to that shade it sucks. Okay, so you should have something like this giving spooky vibes. This is the Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm, and I'm gonna use this on my eyelid, and it does not have to be perfect. I'm literally just gonna dab a little bit on there and look up like that. And the same thing on this eye. Then I'm gonna take a flat brush and just blend that. Up. 
So now she has something like this. I'm gonna use this same brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Courageous right here, which I've been dying to use. And I'm going to place that on my eyelid. Now, let's lighten this up just a little bit. I wonder what Manifest it looks like. Let's try that on camera. So this shade has like a clear center, I guess, and I don't know what it is. So let's just see what it looks like. So that's how that, ooh, that's pretty. Hmm. I'm gonna swatch it really quick for you guys, so. Ooh, that's really, really pretty. It looks wet. Should I go in with that shade? Should I just go straight gold and brighten everything up? Because it's very, very dark. Or should I just go in with bold moves? I used that last time. Kind of leaning towards that shade. That was very, very pretty. I'm going to go in with Manifest It here. Put that in the center of my eyelid. I'm not too much feeling that. I'm gonna have to, mm, I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going back in with a uh, courageous and putting that back in its place. Oh, but courageous on top of that shade though, that looks pretty on top. Sorry if my tutorial is a bit chaotic, but I'm literally just trying stuff out. So now I'm going back in with courageous and deepening everything back up now let's do the bottom lash line i'm gonna go back in with confident and just blend that out underneath my eye and i'm just like doing this kind of messy because it doesn't really matter because i'm gonna go over it with concealer once i do my the rest of my face a little halloween snack to set the vibe right now for lashes i'm using the same lashes that i use the last time I did a look with this palette, Preta Porter from the Kiss Masterpiece line. Okay, so I'll be doing the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, this is how everything turned out and I'm going to finish off this look with a lip combo. I'm going to be using the NYX Line Loud Lip Liner to line my lips. And on top of that, I'm going to go in with the new Fenty Cream Gloss Balm in the shade Cupcake In. This is from their Fenty Gloss Balm 5.0 collection. If you're interested in seeing me try out some products from this collection, I'll have it linked down below. But let's go ahead and get into Cupcake In. I just need a little highlighter, so I'm going in with the Fenty Pecan Swirler highlighter. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on my cheeks. And this is the final look. I kind of wanted to brighten it up with the lip and the cheeks because I felt like the eyes was really dark, and I didn't know how I didn't I didn't know how that, I don't know how that was looking on me. So I just wanted to brighten it up. Hopefully, it came together nicely. Comment down below. And let me know what you think. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.